Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the leather bag lady. It's Sunday, and I am talking to you because I didn't talk to you on Friday. Had a little bit of an attitude problem on Friday, so I thought it best that I don't vent to you. <laughs> because, really, who gives a shit, right? So, anyway, it's Sunday afternoon. It's almost 2 o'clock. Uh, I went to the flea market this morning to see my friend Norma. My friend Norma is not feeling well, so she hasn't been there for a while. So that was too bad. I went and picked up a bag off of Marketplace. Um, it was presented as a Dooney, and it isn't authentic, but I bought it anyway because it's so cute. And it's still a leather bag. It's still a nice leather bag. And I will probably list it tomorrow. So not tomorrow. Uh, uh, yeah, Monday's tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. I will list it tomorrow. Um, I'm off to Sarnia Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I probably won't um, connect with you on those days. But just taking my mom back to see her sister and trying to help her, support her. My uncle has um, ever-progressing dementia, so my aunt needs all the support she can get. And my mom and my aunt are identical twins. Um, I have shared that before. So they send each other the same birthday gift in different colors. They sent me the same engagement card. I was living in the UK. My aunt lives in Sarnia. My mom lives in Oakville, which is about two and a half, three hours away apart. And they sent me the exact same engagement card I guess it's not that big a deal these days because everybody just goes to the dollar store so we all get the same cards but how many years ago would that have been 20 26 years ago dollar store wasn't around so it was a bigger deal back then <laughs> anyway today's bag oh my god I'm in love I'm in love and I'm not 100% sure that it's going to stay on Etsy, to be honest. So, you know how I feel about suede. I don't know why all of you people don't feel the same way that I do about suede. I know it's a little bit harder to take care of. But, I mean, let's face it. It's not a daily driver. A suede bag is not an everyday bag. But, oh my goodness me. Check this bag out. Oh my god. It's just a shoulder bag. You could probably, let me move you down a little more. You probably could in a pinch, you know, if you had your hands full, you could, you know, I mean, that's kind of silly. But, oh my goodness me, it is in pristine condition. Now you see all these shadows? That's just, look, I'm brushing it. That It's never been used, I don't think. It's from a uh, leather craft. It's a Canadian company. The tag fell off. Canadian leather craft, Trenton, Ontario, Canada. So I just put the tag in one of the pockets. It, oh, I, I mean, gray. Where do you find gray suede? I've never seen gray suede before. So it's a real 70s. 70s bag it's got compartments inside so there's a zipper a compartment a divider with a zipper and another compartment there's nothing outside this is all that 70s velvet and it's just picking up the uh, suede there but it's beautiful like it's a little bit of telltale where the flap comes down but it's got that great 70s kind of snap closure. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. A little bit of a gusset on the bottom. Like I said, I have some beautiful gray sweaters. I think, I don't know, this doesn't go quick. It might end up in my collection. <laughs> Anyway, so that's my bag that I listed on Friday, but I didn't get a chance to do a video because I didn't want to be an asshole on camera. Sorry, but I would have been. So just had a little boot. Uh, the flea market's about 45 minutes or so away. So 
get my car with my tunes blaring. Oh, you like the, uh, the pimple? When was the last time I had a pimple? But my daughter used to model and uh, the makeup artist always said to her, the worst thing you can do is, is squeeze them and all that yucky stuff we do to them. So it uh, hasn't come to anything yet, but it's gonna, <laughs> the size of it. Anyway, back to my teen years, I guess. Meanwhile, I'm in the thick of frickin' menopause. Oh, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. So anyway, quickly, I went back. Actually, my intention was not to go back to Long Point. Um, I think I mentioned last week that I went to my favorite spot and it was gone. It was underwater. So I went to, it's called Port Rowan, thinking I could go to the beach. Well, Port Rowan is just a harbor. It's not necessarily a beach. So I ended up in Long Point again. It was so windy. I could, 45 minutes is all I lasted on the beach. It was so windy. But what I did do is go back to the spot where I used to go and I took some pictures. And one of the homeowners right on the bluff was out in her yard. So I asked her, I spoke to her, I said, what happened to the beach? And she said the fall of uh, 2020, 2019, we had a huge storm and the sand was just gone. So I guess the undercurrent pulled all the sand away and um, the water now comes right up almost to their property line. So what they did was they all got together almost like a condo community and they all put money together and purchased uh, boulders like these are like arms around boulders to create kind of like a seawall because she shared with me they're not insured for water damage now here in Hamilton because the properties are so old we're not insured for sewer backup so um, you know the insurance companies they want to make sure that they don't have to pay out too much I guess so where there is almost a guaranteed issue uh, just a matter of time before it happens issue, they don't want to know. And she said that they get water damage most years. And it was just so sad. And they put together and put a bench at the end of the, what used to be the pedestrian beach access. Because you'd kind of go up a little hill and then down. So now to go down, there is no down. It's just water and big rocks. So it would be really difficult to navigate it. So... Eh, just I can't seem to get it out of my mind. I, you know, I'm not a very politically aware person, which is probably not a good thing. But um, I do, I do feel this kind of way weighing on my mind a little bit. It, you know, when do you get to see such a blatant example of you know how the world is changing because of climate change and and just you know seasonal um extremes in terms of weather so anyway enough of that i mean if you're not local then i'm just blah 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 I mean, who wants to hear that so i'll love you and leave you as my mom says uh like i said tomorrow i'll hang out with you guys for a little bit um if you're a regular and you want to give me a little thumbs up please do i don't know does it make that big of a difference but it's nice to see and um, any new subscribers, welcome, 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 welcome. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.